And you're looking at satellite image of a devastating what was upgraded to a Category 5 hurricane. It's Hurricane Ian. And this happened, of course, last fall as we uh, went through the 2022 hurricane season. Now has come to a close and we are looking ahead to the season for 2023. And it looks to be another active season. Colorado State University and their team of forecasters always give us an early look at what we're expected to see. They're expecting 13 named storms. The average is 14, so just slightly below average. Average. Uh, six of those will become hurricanes, they think, and three of those could be major hurricanes. So some of the driving factors, they probably would have went lower with this forecast because we're actually currently in a neutral Enzo, which means we're neither La Nina or El Nino, but we're supposed to go into an El Nino pattern, which usually limits hurricane development because it adds wind shear. Hurricanes don't like wind shear, it tears them apart. That usually happens in the Gulf of Mexico. So if the El Nino pattern develops, that's one inhibiting factor, but we have some uh, factors that actually could increase the risk. And this is probably when they, why they went pretty close to average. We have very warm sea surface temperatures in the central, tropical, and subtropical Atlantic Ocean. That means warmer waters could fuel more hurricane development or sustain hurricane development. The Caribbean down in the Gulf looking at their normal currently for uh, the sea surface temperature. So that's on track, but we're gonna watch this really closely. Um, stay with us as we get more information. Of course, the National Hurricane Center will have their update coming later, but there's the look at the names. Arlene all the way to Whitney as we get into the next hurricane season.